Yo. Oh. Yo. What is up? up? Mateos. Chillin'. Classic sneaky once again. Nothing changed as I see. Nah, he'll... He usually shows up within like the first 15 minutes of the game. Why does he not just... Wake up 15 minutes earlier? I mean, you wouldn't get it. Hello. Yo, sneaky. You're early. You're early. Yo. Yeah, that's Am cool, I? guys. That's cool, guys. But... And, like, streaming is cool, too. But have you seen Tofu, Mochi's little brother? Have you Probably posted not. it? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, come here, Tofu. Come here, Tofu. Is that a cat? Say hello. Say hello. Tofu, say hello. Where is Tofu? He's a little... He's oh, a cutie. shit. I see him. It's a guy? Yeah. Nice. Okay, bye, Tofu. How long you had him? All right. How long now back to tofu? the important stuff. Where is Tofu thunderbolt? go? He's just chilling. <laughs> He's chilling on his cardboard box. So uh, what have you been up to, Sneaky? I just got COVID a couple days ago, or like less than a week ago. How? Just got over it. Uh, you don't I went go outside. To, I, I went to Evo for like three hours to play Project L. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> we we both had rough weeks. It's all good. <laughs> what, what, wait, what happened? Are you still sick? Who double, double up, Jeremy? Yeah, yeah, double up. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, we just lost to TL. We got absolutely blasted. I'm not sick at all. Oh. I actually, like, the whole like, uh -oh. thing where I was in the hospital, like, ended up being, like, very little, you know? Like, I just had to take antibiotics, and then it just fixed in, like, a week. Okay. Well, that's so, good. Yeah, yeah, I had like some sort of like stomach infection. Unlucky. Was it from anything? <laughs> Is it from eating out of the trash? <laughs> yeah, I think it's from eating out of the trash. Honestly, oh. I think it's from stress. Mm. It's like mm. a stress induced like stomach problem. Damn. That's not fun. Being on 100 Thieves is stressful. Medius, <laughs> you were blessed. <laughs> I was blessed? Yeah. You just got out fast. Two. Three. I made it to three, week three. Three, my bad. I can't believe you made it a full year on that org. I've never done that. It's <laughs> defense of the dark arts. Well, I'm not a jungler, so. That's impressive. Oh, well, your jungler also made it. Wait, he's been there forever. Actually, yeah. He's been there for like three years. Hmm. What about this draft? Do we like care about the game? No. I want to hear all the dark secrets. For 100 thieves give us all the juicy drama what happened i am seeing a where did it all go right and wrong it all went right nothing went wrong mm. no i mean it's just like i i, I talked to my manager about uh a few, like yesterday actually we had like some meetings and now it's off season and it's like you know you know like energy every single one of their players is like playing probably like some like at their peak you know like they all help each other play comfortably so everyone looks good like even Doklo who gets visited in lane a lot he's like ends up being useful and clawing his way back because the team like believes in him and he feels comfortable getting behind I just think like everyone is everyone on energy obviously is like greater than the sum of their parts uh, yeah and then you know for us it's completely the opposite you know, like when you're on a bad team like no one's playing that good. No one's really, like enabling each other to play comfortably. So, mm. yeah, I mean, that's just how it goes. If you can't fix it, then you just end up being a shitty team. Been there. Done that. Been there. <laughs> I honestly think that, uh, I don't know, a lot of the middle of the pack teams like kind of like that. Like I don't know, Team Liquid seems like that too, where... I don't think they're actually very good. They stomped us, but I don't think they're actually very good. You see they're APA so choke bad. his first uh, playoff series or whatever? Yeah, he got he got completely rolled by who? I already forgot. Palafox. Palafox, yeah. Yeah. But he's been doing a lot better. A lot less of the extreme choking. <laughs> yeah. Every time he died, he just like threw his fucking hands on his head. Dude, he looks so... Fr I just, I cannot play with people like that, actually. It's <laughs> such a huge problem. I mean, it seemed like a one-off, which is good. Maybe yeah, first yeah. time. 
playoffs. Just like maybe he can suppress exciting. it in the future, but it's like the fact that he even Thank you so much, feels that way, even if he could like stay stone cold like externally, it, it just is like so weird, you know. Like when something goes bad, you obviously feel bad, but I've never felt so bad that I need to be like face palming or something like in the middle of a game. <laughs> what do you think about Rumble? Oh yeah, Rumble is perma ban, huh? Apparently he wins every lane. That's that's he what it seems, seems like. like it, yeah. It, it yeah. seems like he doesn't just win. He like hard shits on every lane and yeah. They can't and, he, play. and he doesn't scale bad anymore. It's not like the get like 30 CS ahead and then he's like useless later. I, I don't I don't know what happened, but he does seem to be good later too. I don't know. Top lane is a completely useless role. <laughs> like I I don't, I don't think top lane is like it, it's probably like the most irrelevant role in the game. In competitive at least. Why? Dude, it just is so useless, though. No? Like, every other role is so overpowered. Reactions have looked fucking okay. strong as hell sometimes. Jax's Giga Carry. How do you yes. explain Licorice carrying Golden Guardians? Yeah. I don't know. He's useless. like, he's like Faker Reborn, then, if he's if he's carrying from that role. Did you watch it, the game yesterday? Like, the last game, at least? I actually didn't. I didn't. Was Licorice popping off? Dude, like, f he got counterpicked. Fucking, he's playing Cassante versus Fiora. Holy shit. <laughs> he just destroyed Fiora so hard. Oh shit, what a beast. What was the matchup actually? Straight didn't even watch at all. It's not the Fiora. Was a... Or you mean the teams? The, the, the teams, the teams. Dig yeah. GG. <laughs> oh. What was the Cassante Fiora match? <laughs> <laughs> what chance would he play? <laughs> Yo, why is nobody playing Rek'Sai? You, you see Rek'Sai is getting nerfed again. Like the past three, four patches in a row, Rek'Sai's just been nerfed in solo queue. Really? I actually. Didn't know that, but we played a bit of Rek'Sai and saw a bit of it in scrims, and then it just completely disappeared. I think it's just because the other junglers are better doggies. You know, like Maokai, Sejuani, and Rel are just like... They clear the jungle really fast. And like, I don't know, the way, the way I understood it at least, like the way that Closer was talking about it, is like a lot of these champs have like really easy smiting for like contests. Because like Maokai and Rel's Q does a fuck ton of damage, mm -hmm. so you can like easily secure objectives. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Nice. They killed the top laner. Surely this will amount to something. Sneaky, wait, have you been playing solo queue much? No. <laughs> okay, well you guys have been watching a lot, right? Yeah. What do you think about you know AD carry prios and you know, what's your like tier list? Uh, I mean, Ash was popping up with Trinity, and it looked like complete ass every time we saw it. It's like, yeah. I, I saw one guy go fucking IE in LCK, and did like a billion damage, shredded a poppy tank, and I'm just like, yep, that reconfirms yeah. my thoughts. Uh, yeah, I agree. Kaisa, like, when we first saw it, I was like, what the fuck is this AP shit? And then it's just played every game, and it's like, hmm, I guess it's pretty good. So It is really good, yeah. Yeah. It I was in denial, which is why I went AD Kaisa in a regular season game on my first one. Yeah. And then I watched, I, I kept watching like the Asian AD carries play it, like specifically Ruler play AP Kaisa, and I was like, oh, it is broken. Like I just like didn't know how to play it. <laughs> what was he doing differently? He just never misses. Du he doesn't go for like, uh, like poke Ws. Unless it's like he's six items, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Like super late game, or uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like he's not gonna get punished for it, cause like if you miss your W in a team fight, then AP Kaisa sucks. It's horrible. But if you keep hitting it, it's like on a four second cooldown. Yeah, it does so, so much. You should only go in with it. Basically, you should like if your teammate CC someone, right? You should immediately. The first thing you should do is just RW instantly and get your first W off to start like the cooldown ticking. And then afterwards, you can either like keep fighting or like play, you know, a thousand range away and just spam Ws for the rest of the team fight. But you need to make sure you hit your first one in a team fight. And mm. I was just like randomly throwing it out. I'm like, I hope this one hits. And then if it hits, I get I get to like keep throwing them, right? But like yeah. if one of them misses, then it goes on a 20 second cooldown and the enemy team just, just fights you. It's like a Kog'Maw W, you know? It's like a very, very long CD to play around. So then you're just completely useless. And the weird part too uh, is you don't ever get Q evolve pretty much until like yep. so much later. Yeah. You actually, you pretty much never get Q or E evolved unless you do it like, oh, uh, uh, wait, no. Sorry, you do get, you, you do get E evolved at level 14. Yeah. There's like some small stuff that I didn't know 
Yeah, it's like skipping Zerkers. It's like, what the fuck? No E? Yeah, and then at level 14 you get enough attack speed where you just get E with static ship only as your attack speed. And there's like a bunch of small things that I didn't know. Yeah. So, so do you I, max I think W second with this build then? Yeah, and actually if you want to be like super annoying, if you're like snowballing really hard you should actually just start like you can like put three points q and then just straight max w because like the way the cooldown like works any like flat reductions to it it goes down by like 77 percent every time you hit it so like every point that you put in w is so noticeable in terms of cooldown mm -hmm. it goes down by like is, is this seconds. the patch where she's nerfed i, I saw they were nerfing her no. from like 77 to 75. no no it's not does that make a big deal I mean, allegedly, it's a 10% nerf to it if you if you hit it. 10% cooldown nerf. I I think she's still gonna be OP afterwards, but you know. Wait, going from 77 to 75 is 10%. I mean, like, I couldn't do that math for you. <laughs> so like, hold on. Oh my God, Ignar. He's dead. As oh my God, Ignar. Yeah, I guess if you're going from 23% of the cooldown to 25, to 20, that's... Yeah. Okay. This is the energy special. They just, ran, they just like, random swap with Aphelios. Dude, I have not painted this in a game. When did energy get Herald? Dude, IE seems pretty fucking good. Have you played with it much? Yes. Oh my god, Aphelios. Is so Dude, I, I hit so fucking hard. Like, I, I did play a little bit of solo queue, messing around with that. Yeah. Holy shit, I yeah. was chunking so hard. Uh, it's, oh, it's extremely oh wait. good. One thing I was curious about is, do you think IE's always been good, or was it just the buffs to it that made it good? Like, or I guess since becoming a mythic. I don't think IE was always good, no, because, I mean, like, I think Quick Blades is still crazy OP. Like, if you're going to play, like, AD Kai'Sa, for example, you need it. If you're going to play... Zaya, you need it. If you can play Trist, you kind of need Quick Blades. So it's like good, right? I like guess strong, but I can't say it's like better than the alternative, which is Quick Blades. Gale Force is pretty terrible, though. I I, fool, I fully agree with Sneak. I think Gale Force and Trinity are just like not that good. They don't do any damage. But yeah, they're very I was really good curious about that. When I saw these like no IE builds, it seemed weird to me because like. You know, before IE was a mythic, you would like never consider doing not a, a build without it, right? And I mean, yes. unless you're doing Navori or Gwensu, yes. but it's like every build would have one of those. And then all of a sudden people just started doing like still building Gale Force and you're just missing a lot of damage. I think it can be okay if like you really need something defensive, like you don't need to be the damage dealer in your team, but you lose all yeah. DPS occasionally. Yeah, I think on Aphelios, Scale Force makes a lot of sense since like late game, he's actually more of like a burst champ than just like a straight up damage pumper. So Gale Force was very strong because it did like 800 damage burst, and you kind of played like WoW Arena where you just like understood how much damage you had in one go, and then you just like did it all. Did the uh, but... nut and busted. <laughs> yeah, but I think nowadays. Gale Force is too bad, so... Oh, Ooh. oh I think... I think actually... in trouble? Nope. <clears throat> Holy moly. Flash Wait, he, out, I, he hooks back, back in? in? That was, like, big balls there. What the... They just both ignited each other. That was just pure support ego right there. It was. Actually, they could have just run him down, no? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. Blabber with the engage. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh, wait. wait. Eminus? He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, Eminus dies. Oh, Oopsies. my god. Uh oh, this looks bad for C9. Blabber's looking quite fucked. Wait, Blabber's not running Hex Flash on Rel. That's pretty rare. Yeah, that's weird. Isn't Aftershock weird too, or? or... Is that no, no, normal? Aftershock is normal. I think it's normal. Okay. I guess it just supports the run glacial. That was so weird. Like, everyone's just making their own play. Like, Nautilus hooks yeah. in, 1v3, Trisana goes for a solo kill bot, like, Rel, like, flashes in, but there's, like, no coordination between any of the plays. Yeah, I think Labber was kind of... Oh? Wait, Wait it's like a re... What, what? the fuck? That wasn't it a It was like a re... Yeah, like... <laughs> the hell? Huh. 
text saying, no, 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 the call was right. I just He's like, let's try that again. How did yeah, FBI like, yeah, put himself like there? The that was really, especially after <laughs> just seeing the replay. I, I thought it was like a production <laughs> bug, like, showing yeah, yeah. again. And then he died. Kind of mind fucked me a bit. I guess he TP'd behind FBI when he was going for the neutral wave. It's like, looks to see, be what happens. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Tabby Tristana. Thoughts? Pretty gross. Yeah. Good understandable. Gross gross? A little, A little bit understandable. Like, if you look at the enemy champs, they're triple physical. Aphelios and Jace have, like, built-in pen, so... Not a huge fan, honestly, but... Yeah, it seems weird. I mean, you give up a lot of damage, and in a comp like this, they're pretty tanky. Like, I think you want a lot of damage. I think with Trace, you're perma... Gotta get through Malkai, and Ali. You're, like, perma, like, waiting for your Navori plus level 13 spike, because when you have Navori, you have, like, Q up 100% of the time, and I'm gonna look at it right now. It's 125% attack speed. So you kind of don't... You won't feel... No Zerkers at that point, but like every point before then, you're actually way weaker. Mm, okay. Do you have any meta hot takes? Anything underrated, overrated? Hmm. I don't know, man. Ever since we lost, I haven't even really thought about the game much. Let me think. What about before you lost? <laughs> what about before I lost? <laughs> also had no thoughts, you know, just <laughs> brainless. Cruising. What about the PoE league coming out soon? Oh, Any dude, on hold that? on, hold on. I will just pause the stream. So many thoughts. To talk about. <laughs> oh god. What the fuck? Ignore just flash combo Alice or Nautilus. Like that can't. Yeah. Be like he just got mad. That's support ego that once again. Huh. <laughs> oh, he he missed a W. Ruler wouldn't have done that. Do they know? Does energy know how bad he just fucked up? <laughs> no, it's it's fine if you're shooting it for. Wait, this is. Oh, he he's trolling. wants to demolish. He's fucking he trolling. Demolish. I mean, he had to. Is he? Oh my god, he actually wait, lives there. Wait. <laughs> Hold Holy up. Moly. This actually might nah, cost. Him this is like legit. Wait, Berserker oh, missed. Dude, he has no damage and now. And CI's still. He actually has no damage now. He actually has no damage now. You had like. You gotta understand the script. Wait, FBI just... FBI's dead. Fudge is gonna actually oh carry this Oh my fight. god, Eminus! <laughs> Dude, this is the most troll game I've seen. What's going on? What the fuck? No shot they what actually lost What team do you think Eminus is rooting for? I don't know, bro. Like, what was that shit mid? I mean, he wanted the demolish proc. He was like... <laughs> two of those Dude. crystals away from I getting it. I feel like he thought that his jump would get reset if he proc the fourth on the turret. No, he's not that dumb. No, look, he's just look, look at him. Look, look at, at the him. demolished crystals. Look, no, look, look. Dude, what the? Look at him. Wait, no, it looked like they stopped channeling down because he like got out of range or something. That was kind of unlucky. Like, I think he would have killed the turret if the demolish didn't stop. Really? I don't even know. But it doesn't yeah, like, matter, it was right? taking like, down and then it stopped. Even if he even if he gets a turret, he's selling his team on drag. Like he's like, Yeah, I mean I'm, I don't think it was a great plan, but I think that's what went wrong for him. <laughs> oh, and, then he, wow. and then he feels the jump, like I don't think it rain I mean, well played by Dokla. I don't think it rain shall actually get out of the pit. From there. It did look funny though. Eminence is such an X Factor. Like, oh. I swear to God, this guy is like the most random player. I mean, you said it's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> Wait. He's doing your build double lift, the no Nasher is just static into Ludens. Uh, yeah, I'm never doing that again. I actually copied that build from Screaming Berserker, and I'm going to tell you, it's 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 horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. Was that the build where you like ulted out on Casio and did yeah. no damage? There, there, there's like honestly no situation that I can think of where this build is better than the other one. It, just like look at the stats. Like all you have to do is like look at the stats that Natchez gives and the stats that Ludens gives. They cost. I mean, the same Ludens gives way more mana. Yeah, it does. He was out of mana last fight, so surely it's good. <laughs> no, but like I got shit on by Berserker and his scrim running this build, so I was like. I mean, if he's doing it, I mean, he's Korean, it must be good. And then I did it, and it was just not good. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound horrible, but it'd probably feel pretty bad. 
Yeah, there's like a couple problems with it. Number one, um, having only the Halo Blades attack speed, like, if you actually get into a front-to-back team fight, you do no damage. Yeah. Also, the, like, the Nashor's on-hit damage is, like, surprisingly high. It, it, it's, I don't know, it, it's like, you know, 50-ish on-hit damage, which adds up quite a bit. It's just weird, because you don't get to actually attack often, so you don't see the value in it much. Yeah. So, like, you, also never get your, you never get your E evolved. I think E evolved is like very strong. Just that that ability, like giving like a tiny stealth, is so annoying to play against. It is, yeah. And like, you never get it. Where normally you would get it at level 14. Um, also, like, what do you build after this? So you build Ludens, right? So what's your next item? Is it Void Staff or Death Cap? Like, both of them don't feel that good to buy. Oh, is he in intending on skipping Nashers? Yeah, he. Ne you never buy Nashers with this build. Really? So. Mm. I, I think you buy Void Staff, and then you end up, like, I, I did that, and I ended up at 180 AP. So I, like, had less than 200 AP at three items. And, like, no stats. Just, like, none at all. Oh, what, what, what is that, actually? That is, he is buying like Nasher. He is buying I would be Nashers. really surprised if he didn't go Nasher. Zonia. Zonia. Oh, maybe Zonia's. Maybe. I would still be really surprised. Oh, no, I mean, Nasher seems good to me, because it kind of, like, Helps your uh, static shiv not be just a completely turd item, right? Like, it gives you some yeah. more attack speed work with it. He, he, he lets you play like an 80 carry still. And then, super late game, you, you're playing like a fucking, I don't know, like a Zareth. With yeah. 600 AP. Man, I'm surprised they left static like this for so long. What, what were your thoughts when you first saw it? Did you think it was going to get like gutted or did, did you expect it to oh, last yeah. this long uh yeah it's i was so obviously gonna get gutted when it was one shotting range minions and then people like play like when it got nerfed then they started doing like minion dematerializer to make sure that it one shot the range minions. yeah and I was like, that's gonna get nerfed for sure and then now it's like you just pick champions that can like easily one shot the rest of the wave so it's, it's, it, it seems pretty fucking dumb to me yeah but the alt i, I don't know man like Bracken Slayer is also really OP, so I feel like the trade-off is kind of fair. I just think maybe all the AD carry items are just really strong. Mm -hmm. I just... I mean, anything that enables AP champs to buy that first... AD and, item? Yeah. Yeah, like, you're, you're buying an AD carry item, and just because, like, you're one-shotting the wave, you never actually have to, like, fight anyone. Yeah. It's such a long range, too. The fact that you can hit the first melee minion as the wave's coming in, and it hits the whole wave... It's crazy. Yeah. yeah Didn't we see really some good. like super long range static shiv kill? Yeah, we did. We did during playoffs. I, for, I forget who it was. Was that like tier three mid turret? Yeah. It was crazy. Something that this is something that Maokai kind of excels at right here is like you have no control of river and you can just kind of brute force it in. What the fuck? They just started it, bro. I don't think you should hit. I think C9 should give this. If I was them, no one's on their spike. I don't even think Trist has two items. So maybe 50-50 at the very oh, best. Oh, but they're in. Oh, big Ooh. Alistair combo. This, this looks, looks quite bad. Good for C... Or, sorry, good for energy, but... No, no, they're peeling well. Oh. Oh. Flash in. Flash in. Oh. FBI. Is oh, FBI is... going to survive? Oh. But how is he so tanky? Oh, my God. Okay. Berserker got one on the back, and he hasn't missed a single W yet. Oh, oh just kidding. Huh. Do they really take that? I, I want to see the items, but you can't when the fight started. Does, does anyone have, like, an actual like, power spike right now? Also, how did they win the fight with the four-man combo? That was crazy. <laughs> oh, he knocked Renekton with the bomb into everyone else. Didn't really do that anything, pretty cool, but yeah. he did do it. It's a lot of blades. Let's see. So Pelifox eats a W. They'd really good peel on FBI. Ignar eats a W. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Palafox got kind of like distracted chasing MNS. He wasn't really in the fight. Oh wow, he did go Nash's third. Why the hell didn't he do that in his scrim? Then I would have done that too. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up these Korean fall. players aren't doing the right thing for you to I'm copy. <laughs> yeah. He's in your head. He's just goofing around. 
He's giving me false info as a joke. He's like, oh, what if I tried full AP this game? Ah, <laughs> shit. But then you see it and you're like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> no, just oh, they're just going to go for the flip? <laughs> yeah, oh. not a flip. Not a flip Eminence with got insta-banged. He did. Oh, this looks like a full retreat for C9 C9 here. C9 going to lose Blabber and Sven. Yeah. yeah. I don't think oh that's worth God, it. Oh, my God. He just he just immediately TP's bot. <laughs> yeah. Legend. I mean, Wait, why is Ignard walking that way? Uh -oh. oh, he could he could kill. He could kill. Don't let him get that. <gasps> oh, oh, he have waited for his WCD before going back in? Yeah, oh. he should have. That was strange that he didn't. That's a very normal thing to do. Oh. 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 oh, I think I think he's fine. I've seen Dokla dive exactly oh, right there doing. and die before his Renekton. <laughs> True. <laughs> was C9 shitting on you guys in scrims that day where he built this way? Oh, yeah. I think he could have mm. built fucking five death Yeah, he probably got and... bored. Yeah. Why don't AP Kaisas go Lich Bane? Yes. <laughs> uh, the other items are just... You don't auto. <laughs> yeah, they're they're too strong. I guess. But uh, imagine it, you go in yeah, with just the get W. The one bang. Yeah, you get After the one your down. 15 poke Ws, you finally go in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You kind of go in with like such an overwhelming amount of damage that you you more want like Banshees and Zonias if you can even have that slot. Wait. Sven? Sven just came back guy. to a replay and he's deep in the jungle getting fucking baked. Honestly, I think that C9's comp out scales so hard that they could they could give every drag for the rest of the game. Like They, they obviously are going to fight this one, but they could lose this one and give soul, and they would probably still win the game. Because at that point, it's like 40 minutes. I guess it's 30, 33 minutes. Like, there's not a single position where they don't outscale uh -oh. energy. What the hell was that, Ignar? <laughs> Ooh, big Aphelia oh. assault. Is this fight looking good already? Oh my Holy god. Holy shit, Fudge oh. is just destroying no, no. everybody. What? Yeah. They, they what is Jax? You see, I was doing nothing, then Jax just jumped in and killed everybody. Dude, All right, top then. lane is the most OP role in the game, like I said. <laughs> That's what I've been hearing, yeah. Like, yeah, maybe Jax is really good. You didn't see the CC from Blabber? Well, I mean, Blabber started it, but like, look at the damage from Fudge. Just like, watch Jax's damage when he jumps in. His E yeah. plus ult on everyone. Yeah, he didn't did Eminus also here. start blasting? Oh my god. I really think that was, a, that was a Triss bomb as well, right? Or, or, or was it not? I don't know. There was I mean, a it lot was, of things happening. It was happening. something. I saw some kind of crit. It might have been a Triss bomb, but... Still, I would say mostly Jax. I don't think he does think, that much I, I think burst, at this though. Point, energy is just outstated, right? Like, Jax how are you going to win this team burst. fight? Like, that, that you much? know how they changed his ult? Yeah. I mean, I, I, it wasn't, like, literally just him, but it was mostly him. Yeah. Man, he got lucky as fuck, I guess. Have you played the 2v2 mode at all? I have. I've been playing a lot of it. Or, I was playing a lot of it. I thought it was really fun. I don't know why. I was, like, up for a little bit, I was obsessed with, like, playing Zack. Because you can like cue them and then hit, hit them on the plant when they're trying to get the plant. Mm -hmm. It's so bad. It's oh, so dude, bad. Have you seen fucking Zeri? I apparently this wasn't. Yeah, she can one shot initially. it. Well, what is that? Why does her Q alone one shot the plant? <laughs> You're gonna be like, well, because her Q is actually seven instances of damage. But I'm like, I don't <laughs> yeah, care. It's, it's still bullshit. Like, what yeah, is it's that? Stupid. It's really stupid. I, I, I mean, it doesn't work that way with wards, and wards have like you know four HP. So yeah. I mean, I just didn't even know this until like. A week after playing the game mode, but I didn't even know plants to reset your cooldown. Like, how OP is that? Really? that is... Yeah, like, I didn't know like your ult... you could get like multiple ults off in yeah, a game. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, and, and the uh, that starting item that gives you lethality, it like increases the effect of the plant. That that applies to the CDR too. What? Dude, I'm. C9 I'm is looking for it. Blabber wants it. Wait, he doesn't have hex flash though. Dude, Berserker can just one shot somebody. Ooh. Berserker oh. can just one shot oh. right now. He's so fast. Wait, what? He oh ordered a ward. He ordered a ward, by the way. Look at that. Oh, Fox is dead. <gasps> oh. Wait, yeah. Jace got legit solo killed by Kaisa here. Yeah. Yep. Huh. He got blasted. Is C9 I, just built I, diff? Is that real? No, guys, the draft is unplayable for energy. Like, there's not a single role 
from top to bottom, they're not getting outscaled. Support is outscaled, mid 80 carry, top all outscaled. I mean, Jolo's even, but. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess Energy thought that they would, like, get a lead early and then hold on to it, but. Jesus Christ, I just heard Jet's voice again. <laughs> is it worse than before or is it the same? <laughs> it's so bad. Let me see I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a peep. Just pull back take a to like when they enter the oh, base. I'm hearing it right now. FBI realized he couldn't finish it off, flashed over the wall, but then just solo killed Palafox after burning so much on FBI. C9, take game one. <laughs> the full rasp. I think he's gonna pull himself off. Because it like got progressively worse. Maybe, yeah. And they didn't want to like sub him out in the middle of the game. That would make no sense. <laughs> sub this old man out. I can't listen. I can't listen. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> <laughs> he, listening to him is making me want to clear my throat. <clears> throat> Legit. Dude, the way that Berserker played that fight how, too. I mean, bro, I, how does he even like, get the kill here? Like his W fucking hit someone else in Narnia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he he actually didn't he didn't go in with W, right? He didn't RW and start off with three stacks of plasma. He literally just auto attacked Jace five Geisa. times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he just auto attacked Jace five times and Jace just died. The fuck? All right, would you rather listen to Sick Jat or oh, Cowboy God. Baby Scion? Oh no, please, please, give me Jat. I have no comment. <laughs> give you fucking Jat. I have, I have absolutely no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Under the advisement of my counsel, I cannot <laughs> answer that question. Exactly. I got to work with Kane again this split, and I thought he was very, very good. Coaches make a huge difference. What did you learn from him? Give us one insight he taught you to split. Mm, I mean, it's not like one thing. It's like a hundred small things. Give me one small thing, then. Um... He, I mean, he, he, we kind of like perfected, not perfected, we like mm, standardize like how we take Herald from bot lane. You like base, the candle wave, the candle wave crashes, this is more boring, but candle wave bot lane crashes at like 710, 715 ish. So you push that wave and then you base. Then you're back in lane by like 740, right? Because you base at 715 around then. And then you push the fresh wave and you go to Herald. Uh, and you'll be there exactly at eight minutes. And the reason why that's so good is because when you like push the cannon wave, you kind of force the enemy AD carry to also base, but then you're like ahead of him since you pushed first and you recalled first. So you're all you you become like up tempo on the herald guaranteed if you have prio on that exact wave. There is no counterpoint for the enemy bottling basically. They can't like stay in lane, they can't follow you to herald. There's like mm. nothing they can do. I see. Is that usually your first recall of the game? No, no, no. I mean it can be, but seven minutes is a long time to wait around. Yeah, I mean, the way that it's countered, right, is like the enemy bot lane, if, if they know what you want, they can gank you on that exact wave, or they can contest you. It's, there's lots of things that they can do, but if they don't know the script, then you just get bot move for Herald. And that could actually be, be meaningless. Like, your team could get Herald without bot move, or the enemy top side could just be, like, shitting on your top side, then, you, then your move is meaningless too, so... Like lots of factors, but I don't know. I thought Kane was just really smart. I, I think being a coach is like way more about just than, than just being good at draft and good at like reading the game. I think it's like also like personal skills matter a lot. Yeah. So like getting to like understand each person, he's really good at that. Wait, they they're playing Sivir in 2023, dude. Dude, Sivir is terrible. But Berserker's gonna win because he's better. Wait, what the fuck? They had tri they had Kaisa mid. Oh. Yep. I I tried Sivir. I thought it was good, but my team hates it. I saw a Twitter post. Did you just say she was trash a second ago? <laughs> yeah, but like I'm just kind of repeating what Boozy is, what Boozy's opinion is, because he's saying I we I load into the game and I'm lighting with a champion from season one, so I can't focus. <laughs> He's not wrong, like, no way. he is from season one, but... Nah, but... <laughs> I can't focus is the trollest statement, dude. I just can't focus, I can't. Mom. I can't take anybody seriously when they say I can't focus. Like, I feel like it's a meme statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a meme statement, but... 
This is funny. Let me grab my coffee. This is the same guy who locked in Azir support. He can't focus with Sivir. He can focus <laughs> as Azir, by the way. Like, huh? Dude, but like, you wouldn't get it. Like, Azir was the answer to Heimerdinger in an alternate universe from Krypton. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was good in scrims because at level 6, he would just go in for the shuffle and it would just work somehow. But like, <laughs> like he would like react to Heimer's nade. So Heimer would go for the nade, right? And then he would at that exact moment shuffle in to dodge it and shuffle him in. But so hype. Yeah, and then we played in a real game and surprise, the game was pretty slow. There was not much going on. A slow hundred thieves game? Are you sure? Yeah, it's a pretty rare sight. That is pretty rare. Oh. Oh, yeah, he is very dead. Is he dead? Is he? Yeah, he is. Oh, no, no one got can XP. Oh, it's Jover. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a good play. Oh, that was a very good play. That was a very, very good play. That was like a double lift Kaisa moment right there. It's RW melee range. There's no way you're going to react to that. Is this not just another game where energy is completely giga outscaled and doesn't even really seem to have any good matchups going? Like, Orn doesn't really. Orn definitely doesn't beat Renekton early. I don't, I don't think Ezreal can beat Sivir. I, and I'm pretty sure Kaisa was the original answer to LeBlanc. Like, the only reason why Kaisa mid was even, like, uh in people's heads was because mm -hmm. LeBlanc with Static Shiv was really popular. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, this could be kill on Eminus. He do be dead. That. Yeah. So Does was Contracts. Contracts oh, oh, nice flash out. Wait. How long in the set? Oh, he's getting shot. Hour cooldown. It is. Dude, just hey, start doing his red. Just start doing his red. Just piss him off that way. Ah, oh, you're a pussy. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Wow, they didn't. They didn't try to find him in the jungle. Not. Wait. Whoa! Flashing knight. Whoa! He didn't even go. Oh no! Huh? Where's he going, dude? What the fuck? Maybe he lost vision on like the corner of the wall for one second, but that doesn't make any sense because if you flash, you 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 would maintain vision for that exact frame that you flashed on top of him. Yeah, it didn't look like he lost vision. I wonder if they're going like... to try to shake up this meta for Worlds, or if it's just going to be fucking Jace, Tristana, Andy Carey's mid. It's actually the weirdest mid question. meta. Everything is like a huge snowball, right? Like, you, you think about like a Cascading effect of like, well, why is it tank jungle most games? Like, this game Kha'Zix, right? But that's not normal. Normally it's like Sedge, Maokai, Rel, and occasionally like weird shit like Nautilus jungle, but... It's like snowballs because like it's a lot of AD carries and the AD carries have no CC so they need someone to engage off of and frontline for them and like why are AD carries OP? Like I don't really know. Maybe the items are OP on them? Yeah, I mean a lot of the time it isn't like one simple thing. It's like a lot of interactions. Yeah. Because with jungle... S is fake as fuck too. I don't know what's up with all the Ezreals. Yeah, I... I played a crazy amount of Ezreal after Energy beat Team Liquid with it, uh -huh. and I was at the very least I wanted to understand like what the strengths and weaknesses were, because like you know if we did make like a deep run in playoffs or like if somebody picked it against me, I wanted to know like what the matchup was supposed to be like, and then I realized like Ezreal is just an early an early game champ. Like he's like very very strong for the first like ten minutes, and then he's. Gets his Trinity, and then he's just, like, spiked, and that's kind of it. I mean, I think you, you, you're you spiked at Manami, and you're also spiked at Cyril does. It's just, like, you get progressively, like... strong, like, even. Yeah, you get progressively overtaken, for sure. But if you can, if you can like, get an early fight, he's very good. Like, he has 50% attack speed all the time. Yeah, Because you're spam yeah. queuing on the wave. He also is, like, the only AD carry in the game that can go conquer. Uh, so he's like very good in like long fights because he has like fucking like 20, 80, 50 percent attack speed, just kind of like baked in. He do be have PTA this game. He looking oh, dead. Oh my god. 
What happened last game? Did Do Dokla also got ganked and then was just kind of behind for a long time, right? Just seems like C9 knows yeah. knows uh, how to better play around the top because it's not like these ganks are being punished by energy either. Yeah, I mean, it looks like C9's just trying to play as aggressively as they can and then Blabber goes to whatever's the spiciest. Yeah. Because Dogo's definitely the kind of player who wants to, like, trade a lot in lane. Really? Actually, I, I, I thought of his role on energy as more of, like, impact. Like, he's a weak side. He, he gets weak sided quite a lot. And yeah, he does. Kind of needs to um, be, like, the rock top lane. Like, hold it down. Yeah. I guess it's more about, like, the, the micro trades in lane. You know, like, if the guy's walking in your face, you have the option to, like, trade with them or back out. Mm -hmm. And... I think he'd much rather like try to take a trade than just concede everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow, he just TP'd from bot to top, so they are... Essentially what they're saying is like, we're happy to play hard for Harold, and if you go for Drake, we'll take two turrets. It's, it's really good, so you know, it's very good at that. They kind of know when to get into a race situation. So like they're in a race situation right now where they're five top side. Enemy Orin is bots. He does have TP, but like they don't care. They will just play fast on two lanes and they will force you to match them because you can't like keep split pushing against a team with Herald because they're just going to get more way faster. Oh, actually they will just reset and go Drake. What the hell? Yeah. Forget what I just said. I guess I think energy could have taken the dragon, but they responded to the push. I think if they went for Drake, they would have seen I would have dropped Harold mid and just given Drake. It seemed like they were more worried about the threat of it getting dropped top. Because energy kind of like all went top. Yeah. That's true. But now C9 sees energy respond to the Herald, so they know they're not yeah. just going to be rushing drag. They can just do whatever they want now. Oh, that was a bad Recon engage, but doesn't matter, I guess. C9's just better. Dead. Renekt and Sedge, dude. How do you beat that in a fight mid game? And Sivir. And, and Sivir? The champion that I'm forbidden from playing. <laughs> I mean, how is it winning the game, dude? I guess you just have to factor in your support's not going to be focused at all, but oh. maybe uh, the champ's just good enough to work wait. anyway. Oh. Okay. Eminus loves dying from mid turret or like. He does have some of the weirdest deaths. Yeah. Did you guys see that reptile wall posted a uh, like Twitter thing, uh, a video about like Tristana mechanics? Isn't that the guy who has like the really cool Draven skins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to bring that one up, but you know, it, it was it was a. What are the Draven skins? A character. <laughs> Surely, Sinky knows. <laughs> what? He he was removed. He, from he was his, the guy uh, who fucking. Log he had an inappropriate name he, he on was, one of his accounts. Oh, yeah, like the, the Hitler name. Oh, that thing. I mean, I think and that's definitely something that's like viewed way differently in Europe than in America. Is it though? But I think he's German too, or something. It's like real serious in Germany. <laughs> what do you mean viewed differently? Dude, it's in it's what way? Not acceptable in every way, in every like place. What are you saying? I mean, like. <laughs> In European, like mentioning Hitler or something is like way worse than in America. Are you saying? Yeah, I don't what? know if I agree with that take, but. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? 100%. Like, are you saying if someone in an A had the name Hitler, <laughs> it would be chill? I mean, no I, I, that, that I, I think okay, it wouldn't double be lift good. to streaming. I'm not saying people should. I'm just saying like, double lift to streaming. He, he logged on his alt. Fired. His alt name is Hitler. <laughs> I mean, you think you'd be so inspired for it? I think we should, I think we should it? change the topic. This is my first co-stream in like, in like four months. I think I'm going to get removed or something. <laughs> what about this team fight going on here? <laughs> thank Sven you, just thank got you. owned. Jesus. <laughs> Sven, it's, it's, fucking Ezreal does zero damage. Look at this. Oh, well, he missed. Ezreal, Ezreal is just like not really that good i think i think when berserker plays anything it's like whoa like ash ezreal the guys like yeah you can't get baited you can't get yeah, baited yeah, it's like whoa like looting second on kaisa but nah dude like come on check your birth certificate did i just hear a flash 
I think. Wait, I think Flash Redacted, tried to flash him. Yeah, Fox? messed up his. Redacted, him mess up his flash W. Ooh, and they have to get off. <laughs> Look at his items right now. He's Trinity Manamian. Is that it? You guys know Mirror how. Mana? Oh, yeah, he's no Mirror Mana. Yeah. No boots. Dude, the, the, the damage difference isn't that significant. I mean, it's obviously like 50 to 60 damage per. I mean, per, like, ability. It's, it, it, good, it's a but... lot. Like, it's a pretty good spike. Yeah, but he's, he's not gonna hit, go crazy. If you hit somebody five times, it'll do probably like two fifty damage ish. It's good, but people make it sound like if you if you upgrade your mana immune to a mirror mana, it's like something you should play around. And I, I always try to tell my teammates like it's not really like that, you know. Like it goes from being good to like slightly more good, but I think it's pretty big. It's really the same as as getting like honestly a Caulfield's Warhammer in terms of damage. It's like. <laughs> Really? So, yeah, sounds like, like, like it's, I don't think that's right. Really? Oh my god. I mean, it applies damage on like all your spells. Like it gives your oh, E damage. Wow. That was no that mere was mana. amount of damage. And he's one off mana. This is Yo, awkward. Q. Energy can steal Wait, it. Energy I, I can steal it. They this. should pick it up. Yeah. They should pick it up. They should keep it aggroed and pick it up. Contracts is right. Yo, he's he's fucking Kha'Zix. Just go in. Oh my god, this looks so good for energy. This looks so good. Yep. Uh, they're getting wiped oh, here. Oh, Sudan's getting in. wiped. Blabber's dead. Dude, can I should get Baron too. The Baron. I don't think they should. The Baron. Uh, the, Baron, the Baron is fully reset now, though. Oh! Wait. Can they not do it? Uh, they they kill them all. They 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 wipe and kill and then and then do it. Oh, flash over the W. Oh, but he died. Oh. No, but the jungler's dead now. They can't do it anymore. Can they? No, no, no. they can't do it. They can't. Th that was that actually worth. not worth it. Not like, the end of it. Yeah, like he should have just let the Kaiser live, but taken Baron, but it's hard to choose that. Hey, did, he, he didn't have a big bounty, right? The Kaiser? Yeah. No, he didn't. Maybe it would have been worth it if it was a 1k, but... I mean, you're not thinking about that in the middle of the fight. You're just playing the game. Not like you have perfect read on the, everything. Yeah, that, that one's hard, for sure. That one's like a pre-planned thing, like... Before fights, you just can check to see who has like a fat fucking bounty, mm -hmm. and then you can like yeah, make that, a that, mental that, note. That whole thing, yeah, that, that that whole thing like snowballed too, because like in the spur of the moment, C9 decided like let's start Baron. I don't know why they decided to start Baron, but they did, and then it pulled Berserker. Like he was like not really connected to it, so he's like, oh, I guess I gotta go, and then he got picked on the way. But it's weird. Like, why would you even start Baron if you didn't have control around mid to begin with? D9 does that a lot. I mean, I think there are a lot more yellow with Baron than. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny it because. It works out pretty well for C9. <laughs> it's funny because. Oh, by the way, dude, look at Blabber's items. What the fuck? He's so rich. He's like the yeah, richest player in the game. He's the huh? only one in the game with three items. I don't understand how he's so rich. He's a lot of gold. Wait, just fully solo killed? Like, oh, wait. Do Doko's 05. Doko's to support this game. He is yeah. uh, supporting somebody. The Orn items will come in eventually. Cope. He is a tier 3 fudge sub this game, just <sighs> actually funneling him. I was, I was thinking about how way back in the day, not way back in the day, a year ago we were, we were watching games together and I would always be like, why the fuck is this team starting Baron with five? And five people on the enemy team are alive. Like, what? why would you start Baron? There's like so many better things you can do. And then I realized, I figured out why some teams do it. It's because if your macro is bad, a 50-50 is the best choice you have. Like, if you know that you're going to get outplayed if uh, you go side lane or you don't have side lane pride. Like, for example, if I was energy and Orn is permanently getting pushed in and pressured by Renekton, maybe the best choice then is to go, to just group up, for like brute force the vision in river and just start the Baron and take a 50-50 fight or a 50-50 smite off because that's like literally the best odds in the casino. But I don't know why C9 would be doing that because they have like way better options to play around. Oh, it's flash. Oh, oh my God! Blabber or er, contracts is caught. Yeah. That's good. Holy that's shit, that Baron. sigil killed. The residual sigil. Killed. The first ever sigil finish. You know, I taught I taught closer this year about the slow field tech. <laughs> they have plants. This does look weird. They're in a pit versus Ez. 
There. Things dying Probably though. Probably gonna get the Baron, and then the fight will be weird. Uh, like C9 really doesn't give a fuck about Baron, like a lot of teams do. Uh -oh. They're just down. Like they know it's risky, and they just go for it anyway. Wait. Oh wow! Oh, wow! Damage there. Oh, this looks. This looks a bit cursed. I I, I think that net just forget this game. Another draft if. Go, if I was energy, I would go into the next game and try to pick like one lane that has like decent scaling. You know, don't give. Oh, like... surprise! Oh, wait, uh, contracts make. Oh, shit! Well, is it scaling or early prio? Cause I think most people would say Orn out scales for Necton, but he's just getting legit shit on. So probably not this game. Yeah. Oh, bye bye. He is dead. And he's gone. He is very dead. Yeah, I don't know. When Kaisa gets levels, it's too much. It is too OP. Did you guys know that Kaisa's passive has a AP ratio of like between 15 and 25% AP ratio, and the W applies three stacks of it? Yeah, it's higher than the, the so, more stacks. So, so it just it just adds between forty five and seventy five percent AP ratio on her W on top of like what the you know the AP ratio already is, uh, and then also the plasma does it like it gets exponentially more damage as you level up. So like every level you're just your W is just hitting harder and harder because um, it's three stacks of that. I had no idea like any of these things, and because like I only played AD Kaisa, so none of this stuff is like relevant until you Wait, so have, like when, the AD if you stuff. hit him with a W, does it apply the damage for yes. three pl plasmas? Yes, it yeah. does. All, it does the damage for three stacks, each individual one. So like, how when does that work with teammate CCing? Like teammate CCing applies that plasma, does no damage. That, also... that does no damage. Yeah, you really. just get to the later stages of the plasma, which does more damage. Yeah, and the closer to the proc. So like when you W somebody writes and then you do the normal thing of like W and then you RW to pop all the stacks and you do like you do six so in total you, you hit six stacks because of two W's and then three Halo Blades so you're hitting like nine nine stacks essentially like in like one second yeah in total like the AP ratio on that is just like absolutely stupid it's probably like 250 percent and then you factor in like a Q in there which also has an AP ratio. Uh, and then you factor in like your Nashers, which gives you AP ratio on the three autos that you're doing, and it's like you're probably doing like 400% of your AP in just like one burst, and then like obviously the base damage is like a lot as well. So that's why yeah. she scales so crazy with AP. Yeah, I mean the I'm reading the wording on it. It seems inconsistent though, of like the. Uh, because when it, it says when teammates immobilize, it, it applies plasma. Like, it uses the same wording as, like, her own abilities that apply plasma. Seems weird that, like, her W adds two or three stacks of, like, the damage. Yeah. I could oh, be wrong actually, about the I, I guess, no way. I, I, maybe it's this it's the innate caustic wounds part. It says plasma stacks applied by Kaisa's basic attacks or void seeker. And abilities. Oh, bonus okay. bonus smash damage. Okay, maybe it's that part. <laughs> I see, so it's just like... Wait, he has no flash. Or ult. Yeah, he might die He's fine. Oh, wow. He's fine. He got out without having ulti. He can go back in now. Oh! Yep. Yep. This Wait. Doesn't look that good, actually, for C9. They're kind of getting guided now. Yeah, I mean, if energy wasn't so far behind, they'd be able to win this. Actually, I don't know. No, Flatter's FBI's gonna go getting... Down. FBI's Budge, accidentally no e, dying. no flash. <laughs> Like, Berserker's just hitting people in the front, and FBI just almost died from full. That's the Sivir, if she wasn't terrible. Yeah. yeah. She's Get been there, so fucking invisible this game, bro. You know, I will say she feels really good to play. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, that was an ult? Bit of a fat uh -huh. finger. Oops. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, Sivir's weird, like, for how much damage her boomerangs, or like, her W does, it, graphically, it doesn't seem like it's gonna do that much damage. Should it get bigger? It's kind of like getting pissed on by boomerangs. Yeah. 
Get out of there, FBI. I guess he was already very low, and then he then he got bounced on. FBI is really good at Ezreal. This is Berserker's first auto, second. Oh, one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. There was two bounces on him, like 180. But when you play Sivir and you're farming every wave, you feel like you're just a fucking god. You're just space sliding across the map, like perfect farm all the time. Then you get into a team fight, and for some reason you're just—you just, you just like, can't oh, hit because your range is just negative. Yeah, guys, I've taken yeah. all the resources. Like, why aren't we winning? <laughs> <laughs> guys, why aren't you guys doing anything? Like, I know I've I'm speeding you guys up with my ulti everything. <laughs> And I'm not doing any damage. Like, what's going on? It's honestly just better to funnel the guys, bro. Like, but then you're denying Sivir that dopamine from killing all the minions. Uh, oh, dude, if that W that hits, was death. That was the death. game could just end. Like, you could just die one shot, and then they get Baron and the game over. Again, they don't give a fuck. Oh, five man as realty? No. I, yeah, look, this, this is the C9, dude. They just finish it, but they don't care about potential steal. The fight afterwards, they're like, yeah, we'll just do it and win anyway. I think what they're doing is they are, like, ready to fight if there needs to be a fight, but, um, you know, they're, they're going to finish the Baron if the enemy team doesn't come in, basically. Yep. Yep. I mean, like, you, you almost never see C9, like, start Baron and then do, like, a shitty peel off or, like, hold it at 3k HP, terrified of a smite steal. Like, Blabber opts into smite fights all the time. Like, he actually doesn't give a fuck. Which I think adds a lot of pressure. Like, when you're playing against someone like that, a team that's just willing to flip all the time, it's like, you know you can't, like, bluff them off Baron. Like, you have to actually fully engage onto them. So what do you guys like and don't uh like like and dislike about the game right now i haven't really been thinking about the fun factor of the game or like uh you know what's enjoyable to watch what's annoying to, to watch because when you're playing you're just only thinking about like what's the most effective strategy to win but True. now i'm like a fucking spectator now so i don't think it's anything too glaring on like annoying to watch or bad watching experience I think meta's decent. Um, Tristana's a weird one for me. Like, it seems so weird that Trist mid is just, like, crazy win rate. First pick every yeah. game or banned. Uh, but I like that jungler. I, I like this kind of jungle meta way more than, like, farming jungle metas. Like, I like it when the junglers, you know, can't just PvE the way to being the strongest person on the map. They have to, like, actually play around their lanes and, like, go for plays. Yeah, I think it engaged jungle meta was very was not great for us, but I do think it's like more fun to watch because yeah, like you said, you're kind of forced to progress the game uh, because that's all that's all those champions really do, right? Like you're playing Sedge, not just gonna be full clearing the whole game. Um, Bro, as is so useless, man. I think at this point, Kaisa's W might do four times as much damage as Ezreal's Q. Like, uh, <laughs> this is just stupid. Close. It has the same cooldown. <laughs> I don't really know what energy he could have done to win this. Their bot lane losing because Sivir versus Ezreal, they got counterpicked with the flex mid. Perfect flex mid too because it's a good matchup for Kaisa. And Top just loses 1v1. And Kha'Zix can't help any lanes because he's like... Not that kind of champ. He just wants to power farm and, and carry by kind of like being efficient. So, yeah. It's kind of feels like the game that we played against TL where our, our draft couldn't do enough damage to ever like threaten anyone. So, you just like go, you go back, you're like, damn, that was unplayable. And then you focus <laughs> on next game. <laughs> damn, that sucked ass. Yeah, it's like we could have played better like here and here. Like, you know, you make some adjustments that are completely or, like independent from from drafts but uh yeah don't don't even like think about this game actually yeah i mean it didn't seem like too many major things mm -hmm. happened just top lane kind of snowballed for oh, c9 nice. off the early gank eminus mm -hmm. got a lead mid 
on a C9 just if it, it feels hard to play against them for teams cuz like they they rarely if ever concede things. Like they'll they're always just down to fight. Which is what makes them fun. Yeah. So as soon as they get a lead, it's like, I don't know, how how do you come back? You just have to somehow outplay them. Ooh. It's not counting all your games, it's just saying your win rate when you hit three hundred games. Yeah. So what should pick up this Bergson and sneaky <laughs> guy? Dude. They're fucking ready to go. Ready to game. Dude, I'm pretty sure they showed this earlier and we were on the like they had pictures for us. Yeah. They did. <laughs> but they just deleted us. You know what I mean? Fuck those guys. <laughs> no, I think C9 even picking Sivir and getting close to winning it all is probably just spells doom for the series. Sivir can yeah, just I mean, play I, I whatever the fuck I, he wants. Doesn't matter. C9 seems pretty like head and shoulders better than any other team right now. Yeah. Who's the other good teams in LCS? 100 Thieves. GG. GG smile. I Liquid. really thought... I really thought that EG would turn out better than they did. Dude, they crash and burned hard as hell. Like, they started out so strong. It's so crazy how it, t- it lined up with, like, Speaker going on the dive and saying that they were frauds. I didn't watch the episode. I just like saw the headline and like <laughs> I don't know like what his justification were because I thought they were very good. I mean, their mid jungle was just completely steamrolling us and like pretty much most of the league. Like I think Armeo and Jojo were just like fucking Chovy and Kanavi together, <laughs> but it. uh it just is so weird, you know. End of the season, they just make his change. They want to play with Shiden instead. I thought Armeo was playing totally fine. Um, yeah, well, it was weird because like they started out nine and two, like they were doing really well, and then the anomaly with EG was was like the games they lost were like they got shit on. It wasn't they were never close. They just as soon as they started losing, they kept losing. Like, uh huh. Um, and so I, I was like, okay, you know, maybe they're just a, you know, high, high, low, low kind of team, but they're winning way more than they're losing, so it's fine. But then, like, it's just, they started losing more and more, and I don't know what the fuck happened to them. I'm probably reading into it too much, but one thing I always thought was worth EG is, like, when they were doing well, like, in Revenge's interviews, he'd always be like, yeah, people aren't talking about me enough. Like, I'm the carry <laughs> on this team. Like, people are giving JoJo all the credit. I'm just like, that's such a weird thing to focus on, like... That that is that is a bit weird. I I don't, obviously don't watch his interviews, so I don't have that much context. But uh, that, that is a weird one. I don't know what about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm the not fucking best. Enough. <laughs> yeah, he literally, yeah. he like he said that. And I mean, I'm not trying to like hate on revenge. Like I like the guy, but it, it was it was weird. Like it came across like kind of ego y. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Outside of C9, I feel like all the teams are just like. On the pendulum, like their best game, they look like they could beat C9, and on their worst game, like, yeah, they are not so good. Okay, but who are we sending to fight EU Double Lift? Like uh, the fourth seed? Yeah, who's going? Who's even up for the running for fourth seed? I don't even know. You can see him on screen it's... right now. It's all four at the bottom: C9, Energy, GG, TL. Wait, there's no way C9, C9 gets fourth. C9 seed, cannot right? be fourth. They they already locked Worlds. Oh, so then it's only GGTL? I think so, yeah. Okay. Well then, GGTL. Huh. That's it, huh? Okay. I see. There's, so there's only four teams left in playoffs. Okay. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Depending um, how we're counting. I'm still yeah. waiting for Under Thieves to play. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So only GGTL. I mean, I think GG is way better than TL. So TL's uh, our EU uh, defeater? Uh, EU looks like shit right now. Oh, holy... He said it! I mean, their they're, they're top team... G2 is on another level, but everyone else is not. G2 is so fucking good that Hans can just like play Kogwa and Callista most games, where it's... Literally no other player in the world would pick that champ in those games. 
and like they are just so fucking good they can go down early game like four or five k and come back like <laughs> just no sweat they're just insane and then i don't know the other the other teams when i watch them they're not not even close yeah uh, very weird i don't know what happens it's because you used to be like considerably better i don't think like lcs is super strong right now or anything like that but i think like whoever we send could like has a pretty good chance easy smash on you yeah yeah okay i mean this is a game without kaisa and Triss. it's actually weird because c9 was afraid that energy would first pick kaisa when they haven't shown that prio the whole series maybe they try to get ahead of the problem and realize like energy might like higher prio it since they lost to it twice and that i like they, the like... ivern pick yeah what I do you think like about Ivern's the thing to pit I, I mean I, I don't know i don't love him but i feel like he, he's a good champ to like cheese people with like i think if they're a better team than you and you pick ivor and you can beat them yeah, but if you're a better team than them should you avoid it uh probably because i think he's like kind of cheesable sometimes oh my god he just picked sivir and desire this is a horrendous matchup i would not want to play this way they, have... they, they do have nautilus so it's like okay makes sense right because sivir can outplay nautilus pretty easily but that is almost irrelevant if, when you step up to the enemy AD carry, you just lose. Corky. Uh, Faker, Faker played Corky. Corky. <laughs> uh huh. Oh my God, Jinx. Faker did it. Faker did it. Jinx, it's fine, dude, Faker picked it. You owe me a favor now. Oh, what kind of favor? Ooh, ooh. We can discuss when you come over. Ooh. ooh. Oh. 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 All right. Baldur's Gate and yeah. LCK is such a goaded combo. Yeah, it's what I was oh, doing. Oh, actually, turn-based game makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, you just play, like, yeah. TFT, Hearthstone Battlegrounds, Baldur's Gate. No, you, you should play for sure. Play, you should definitely play. I didn't play, play even a, a Divinity Original Sin, which is I haven't also either. a goaded game. I'm, like, total virgin of this genre. Like, I didn't know what was going on. So, like, I actually had kind of a hard time getting into the game at first. I would play for, like... 20 minutes at a time and then either get like bored or too confused and stop but then i like watch a couple of youtube videos explaining like the systems in combat to the point where like i understood what was going on and then it's super fun oh uh oh this, is, this looks like a good matchup for energy oh my god oh, kill, kill him kill fudge kill fudge oh my god he's dead yeah he's fucked wait oh no. I can't see Wait, who has flash. Went. Okay, he's got flash. There it is. Damn. No, nah, but like, ha have you played any Dungeons and Dragons? Nope. Not at all. The only Same. thing I know is that you, you roll dice for it. It's like a, it's yeah, like a it's meme like, on Reddit. I've pretty much only played solo. I imagine okay. I would have more, like, it'd be more fun solo, in my it, opinion. It's, like, it's way more yeah. chaotic on group up, which okay. makes it fun, too. I would imagine it's more fun solo, and I mean, if you have like a super fun group, that's probably better. But I don't know. You, you get more uh, like lore stuff going on solo because yeah. you have you have like parties Ooh. of four. Oh no! Silver looks pretty strong. Oh, oh my oh. god! Zerker got that. I might be a little ahead of you guys. What's your game time? Twenty-two. Uh, three. Twenty-three. Four. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Yeah. Okay, I was like three seconds ahead. That was a little bit ugly at the end, but you know, FBI got it done. Get her done. Ignar played that well. He had to stop uh, Nautilus from getting to to Sivir if that fight was even going to be close. Holy fuck! That was so wild. Those feathers still came in that late. So close to being a, a actual disaster. Imagine if he like flashed in and Zai's E was up a millisecond sooner. Yeah, and he actually just would have flashed in and died. That'd been gross. Mm -hmm. Poof. I I think they should make Corky go back to just being like a bot lane eighty k carry. Like this whole like magic damage. Yeah, eighty k. This whole magic damage package bullshit is so dumb. Like it's never once added something cool to the game. Yeah. Uh -oh. I don't mind. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think the problem is that, like, like while they want to keep him having package and like sort of exist in his current oh. form, 
Oh, yeah. oh my god. Holy fuck. That Energy's actually cleaning this fight up. Good. The fuck? That was so easy. <laughs> Rakan just walked around with his ult. <laughs> yeah. This is, a, this is a complete different game to the last two where Dokla's playing like a bad matchup. So he's playing Renekton against Jackson in game one, but he got no help and he actually got fucked early. And then the second game, he's playing Orn into Renekton, and he just gets fucked early. This game, he actually did get help, and yeah, it's just like Renekton can... I don't know if Renekton can carry this game, but I think he can, like, be a big problem. Yeah, I mean, I think Renekton's going to carry a game in a much different way than, like, a hyper carry is going to carry the game. Like, he's not just going to farm up in 1v9 team fights. He's just going to use his prio to, like secure all mid-game objectives win any fight that he's part of yeah and just try to get his team ahead like you know you want to break all the towers yeah actually i don't even know why i'm gatekeeping the term like carrying the game like he's he, he's gonna he probably can carry the game like by just like you said being a huge presence I, I think one of the weirdest things in mobas is how the term carry is used the way it is because it's used for like two very different things but there's also so much like overlap between them like you know a uh, bot laners marksmen or whatever are called carries but it's like you could be like the, it, it, yeah, the, the worst things. fucking carry doing ever like damage, you're dead weight yeah doing the damage like what? and like and like doing the actual like work uh, yeah like if you're the best player who's responsible everything. for winning your team the game you would say you carried that game but if you're also yeah. just playing the role of a marksman, you're also like the carry of your team, like that kind of thing. I would say carry is more of a reference to like who's getting the gold rather than like true role in the game. But the people who get the gold, you almost always want it to be the guys who deal the damage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my whole point is that there's just like people use the same term for like a ton of different things. Oh, dude, wait, CN's getting owned. Yeah, they're getting fucked. I, I mean, I don't know how they're letting Sivir go through. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's actually criminal that FBI was able to get out of jail by, like, going to Herald, getting two kills. Now he's, like, there's a random fight over Scuttle, and then they walk over every ward to the fight, and then C9 still dies to the play. And, uh, yeah. I mean, not that I have anything against FBI. He was actually getting completely fisted, though, and then... Sivir, who's like one of the worst early game AD carries, just uh, is back. Yeah. Wait, so what did you mean? Like, Medios about the like carry thing? I mean, I just think that it's like one term that's used for too many things. And it, like, there's. So How would you change it? Like, I don't know. I would just. I think carrying means more like, you know, the person responsible for winning your team the game, like the person who does all the work. Like, uh -huh. I would yeah. have carrying be that. And then. If there's like a person who's just funneled all the resources, I would, you know, I don't know what would be a good term for <laughs> the it. gold hog. <laughs> yeah, the, like the the fucking goblin, like the fucking resource hog, like the lion share guy, like that kind of thing. Like talking more about like the amount of resources they got and all that. The father's son, it, it, the inheritor. It feels synonymous for like if I have the most resources, I'm the carry, meaning like I carried my team, I did all the work. When in reality, it's like. Bro, you didn't do shit except like kill yeah. a ton of minions while your team set up the map and like did all the heavy lifting. Uh, and I, 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 I think people are I think people are way smarter though than than that now. Like people don't think that just because you have the most gold or CS like you're you're carrying. Like you can you can easily tell even with just the casters when someone does a good engage, you can say like oh that like that guy carried the fight by getting a flank off, TP, TP off, or like getting a good angle. So. I, I do think it's like more. I, I what guess you're it's saying, where... a little weird because like the way you reference like mid lane, right? Like you don't really use the word carry anywhere, right? But like AD carries, yeah, I mean, you still like, like the judicial way. Call like an AD I think AD just like just like, just like has this weird carry word tied to it when it's no different. Yeah, than I just think yeah. I just think it's role. weird that it's like that's true. The term used for the role is also like a synonymous term for like the person who's like just winning your team the game. I think there's, like, kind of a bias there. No, you're right. Uh, I, I see it. Because, yeah, what do, you, what do you think about it to other roles? By the microaggressions. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You got me. <laughs> I, I think it's definitely weird. AD carry. Inherently, like, egotistical. 
I don't Dude, know any AD carries we'll, that are I think from now on, I'll petition to rename it Attack Damage Person. How about Bottom Bitch Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Crying Baby with Gold. <laughs> yeah. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean BBB. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good roll, man. Boss Baby, the movie. Ooh. Oh. oh. Uh oh. Nice try, nice try. Happens, happens. That was really close. How is C9 still up in gold, bro? When you look at the score screen, it feels like energy should be ahead. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Berserker is sitting on the bag, if I had to guess. Like, look at his items. He, he probably based, like, a thousand gold, so he didn't have enough for BF. C9 fucking, like, but, like died four times in a row there as well. See. Yeah, he, he, he literally just based with 1,700 oh, gold. Yeah. He's up 2k on Sivir. Jesus. I mean, Zaya completely rolls Renekton in team fights, but if you fuck up once, like if you like mistime your ult or, or you don't have cleanse, you can also just get fucked as well. Mm. Wait, Double if maybe you can weigh in on a, another special means that he had recently where like, I think the fact that we don't see any rapid fire anymore is weird. Because I see a lot of games where like people are full build. I think it was an Aphelios game. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was saying it. you can't do that in Aphelios. <laughs> and I was just yeah. like, why? No, I understand what you mean, but actually, the other AD carry items are just too overpowered. You, you can't, you can't fit it oh, in the build. I you see some games where, like, you, like, they're literally not hitting anyone. Like, they just can't auto anyone. It's still fine because you know, have abilities. If they had range, maybe they could hit them. Your you could abilities get that one auto better. off, but that 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 one auto is not going to like that one auto is not going to outweigh the value of like having another item over. Okay, so like, walk me through the build right. So yeah, every AD carry goes Kraken or Shiv. Almost every single one. So you go Kraken or Shiv, then you go Mythic. Yeah. That's two yeah. two slots. Mm -hmm. Then you at some point you need to get BT and Lord Doms and then Boots. <laughs> so you have one flex spot left. Yeah. I think Perfect. these days, like you just buy a random ass defensive item like Maw if you're against Kaiso, or you buy I mean I guess that could maybe. be rapid fire. You you, yeah, you can actually that, you can actually make a justification. Like, I'm, I'm you can buy rapid fire as your literal sixth item and it, it could make sense, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Just, I mean, there, there have been long. so many other times in the game where, like, rapid fire, it was never, like, a super strong item on its own. Well, but, like, uh, people would get it because the range was so valuable. But now it's like, I think the fact that we literally uh, never see it is is weird. Well, I mean, rapid fire, yeah. some of the dudes, like, I mean, like, Sivir could buy it this game and be all right. But I, I was saying on Aphelios, you cannot buy it. That's all. <laughs> It's just all the other items are so OP. Like, like, literally six item. I remember there was a game where I had the I had the choice of a billion options, and I chose Shield Bow because like Shield Bow and BT are like good. They're just both like good items. Uh, and then like having the extra survivability is kind of like more impactful than having like the one energized auto. I I, I don't know. Like, I think I think what you're saying though makes a lot of sense. It, it could be a good fill item if you have nothing else good to buy. But I think there's like four items that are mandatory right now, which is. Kraken, Mythic, BT, and Lord Doms. And then the last item slot, you can be whatever you want. Yeah. If you don't have, like, one of them, you feel like shit, because you either have zero lifesteal, no pen, or uh, no damage. I fucking hate uh -oh. GA, guys. I think Gion 80 carries is stinky. Oh. In one of uh, Gen G's games yesterday, he, uh, Aphelios went GA like third item. Oh my god, are you serious? Nah. Versus Krog going. Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my he god. Lives? Wait, the Holy game's shit. over. The game's over. <laughs> Yo. Bro. Why the fuck? Oh my <laughs> god. The comes in. No way. Is he going to live? Oh my no. god. He's burning alive though. Why did I start the entire co stream off by saying top lane is the shittiest roll? I regret everything. You better. Oh, maybe? The shit's broken. You know, Holy AD carry fuck. is the shittiest roll. <laughs> fuck AD carry. Like, we should play for top. Yep. 
The croc survives five fucking people? I, I, I gotta see again how he survives Zaya here, because it makes no sense to me. Oh my god, Berserker went that way. That's why. He, he, he went the way, like, assuming that he would, like... Yeah, I mean, it's a hard read. Yeah. Really hard read. Oh my god. And then... Oh, ho, ho, ho. big dokes going crazy. Wow. But, like, who actually carried the fight there? FBI. MS, look at this FBI. shit. He's the, he's the carry. Yeah, he's the AD carry. Look at this corkster. He's the carry. FBI plays AD carry. I play bottom bitch boy. <laughs> <laughs> bottom bitch boy. <laughs> No, nah, but like honestly, if, if once I gets three items, like Renekton will literally just die in one CC. If if anyone hits any stun on Renekton, if if Nautilus hooks him, he will actually die hundred zero in like three seconds. Sai is way too good. And how come his team's losing? The gold is still so even compared to what it seems like it should be. Yeah. Like looking at the oh, bounties as dude, well. This is, this is another thing that Ivern is so good at. Like, just put down. Oh, you take no damage on Baron. Oh my God. They're just full turning. They're nah, full dude. Turn, this yeah. is the difference between energy and C9. Like, C9, C9 would, not would just not flinch. This... Yeah, they, they wouldn't give a fuck. They'd just be like, yep, we're just going to finish it, and their jungler is not going to get you in. You can't 50 50 it against Rel, though, because Rel's Q Flash does so much damage. Okay, never mind. You can do that. You can have your fucking Azir shuffle him away for it. That is pretty smart. Took him a little bit to realize it, but yeah. they did get there at the end. Did you yeah. try any Jin double lift when he was like, no. okay, dude, like he was so fucking fake, like right when Storm Ranger got changed. Oh, you're talking about way back then? Dude, that's ancient history. I did try him. How that, is yeah. that a real play, by the way? Berserker's just solo defending the bush and he's just sort of <laughs> jumping on the first person he sees and there's no punish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I was, not, are you saying like Berserker could have gotten punished? I mean, it's just it's he, an interesting cleansed. play. Like th that that's something I feel like you'd only see from like the number one team, where like they have that level of confidence in like energy. The fact that energy didn't immediately be like, "What the fuck's this guy doing? Jump on him!" Like it's yeah. weird that Berserker was doing that, and it's also weird that he kind of like got out scot free for it. I think it like uh, the mind game aspect. When, when we scouted C9, or like when we even reviewed our games against him, they get away with so much stuff that's punishable, but because we assume that they like have information that we don't. Oh, dude, I, I yeah. was describing that on stream to Medias. Ooh, Palabox, kind of. Wow, that's a solo kill. I, I was describing the same thing. It's like when you're versus better teams, it's just that like that level of fear that keeps you from punishing them. Yeah. It's 100 percent true against C9 specifically. Like we we even had a game where their bot lane was completely out of the game, and I was playing Varus, and we let them go back to their turret for no reason at all. It was just because we thought that their jungler was like behind them, but we didn't make sure. But no, they just hold on, oh, hold that. Oh, dude, he's just getting killed by the package FBI alone. Uh oh, this looks kind of bad for energy, but maybe yeah, Doko's gonna carries. go down. Oh, uh oh, no. two big he's shutdowns dead. to Corky, and then it scares oh, these. Shit. Oh shit. Now the gold lead is not that much. Wait, Sneaky died? No, I'm here. My OBS just died though. Someone Dude, in my chat said so Sneaky bad. died. Yep, I'm gone. Rip Sneaky. Yeah, I mean, that over respecting thing is like. It's weird because, like, usually it happens against teams that it's not like they're consistently doing dumb shit. It's not like every, you should just fully disrespect them and just assume they're bluffing all the time. It's yeah. like you'll probably get punished a lot if you play that way. It's just they know when to, like, take risks. Yeah. I think, like, one thing that our team was not the best at is we always made assumptions that the enemy team would do the right thing, which would be like, if something is diveable, for example, or engageable, like we assume that they're going to like cover the dive or oh, yeah. respect the engage. So we don't even bother like uh, taking the time to to check, oh, taking yeah, the time yeah. to like see if it's possible. We just assume that it's not because oh well, if they're good, they wouldn't let us do that. Which just ends up snowballing into like 
not taking any good action in the game. But like a good team is like has a balance of like bluffing and then also like capitalizing on those opportunities, like actually making sure that every team's playing the game correctly. If they're not, you really wipe them oh. off the face of the planets. Yeah, like um, in teams I was on, some terms we use for that kind of stuff is oh like my. rather than saying like, you know, we're gonna dive these people, we'd be like, you know, come pressure the dives, which is the idea of like you know, you're setting up for a dive. You expect them to react properly, but if they don't, you can kill them. Yeah. Or like, you know, with things, it's like, you know, keeping the enemy team honest. Like when you push down mid, right? It's like the macro thing. Like you assume they're going to be mid to stop you from taking their base. But like sometimes you actually just start hitting their tower in case they're like, you know, yeah, bluffing or whatnot, greeting. Those are great terms. Like, I think, like, we ended up talking about, like, sniffing it out, which is really similar. Just, like, go there, sniff out the situation. If it looks good, just just do it, you know? Like, don't always assume that uh, it, they're countering your play, but it's just sad. It's, it's so hard because it's, like, a delicate balance. Because, like, if you do that, if you sniff out the play enough or keep the team honest enough, you end up feeling like you're wasting a lot of time because you could have been doing something else while they are reacting to, like... The play that you were like setting up quote unquote so uh, it's it's so hard because you, you want to have like a good balance of the two and no one to do both which that's like i think our team just didn't really have the best oh my yeah i think God. like keeping your options open helps a lot with that like you know be like we'll do this or this like conditional statements yeah yeah go a long way oh god blabbers giga caught holy shit the max range I oh. also getting caught though this is a horrible oh, spot to fight Zaya. They actually are smart for peeling back there. That was going to be, like, terrible if they kept going in. Wait, Ignar can just get one shot. Like, he could actually die to this big one right now. Oh, my God, he shot at the other guys. He's out of rockets. Okay. Oh. Sven is actually just completely oh, the game. Oh, my God. Oh, they can't kill him, though. Uh, FBI? Fudge with the flag. Oh, FBI, oh, can you do damage? Oh, oh, oh. FBI, can you do damage? Oh. They're actually getting fucked by their FBI, own FBI, can Mochis you do here. damage? Nope. Nah, but... Dude, hey, I don't know. Siver gap, siver nah, gap. Nah, but... Oh my god. Oh no, oh yeah. no. What just yeah. happened? Yeah. He just took a Q on a minion. And insta died. Oops. Wow, that sucks. I was hoping for not a 3-0. This is looking bad now. I think he needs to pick a champion that wasn't made in Season 1. Sivir is pretty game. useless. Then how did Berserker win in that last game, hmm? Exactly. <sighs> Got lucky. Checkmate. Blabber's just casually 0, 4, and 3, playing no Hex Flash Rel, and getting shit on everywhere, and then winning. Yeah. Berser Berserker gap. Legit they got, crazy. They just, dude, they just funneled in, and then, obviously, Ignar is lucky to be alive there. He, he could have just gotten accidentally killed. C9 legit gets carried by their BBB every game. It's crazy. <laughs> they have the best BBB in the business. <laughs> BBB and the B. Dude, that was so risky from Berserker. Holy fuck. I know. He just kept going forward. Like, he just knows that he could live that? Or, like... Just, like, basically flash past Sivir. Yeah. Oh, my God. He got so many crits. Like, what are the odds, man? Ooh. Energy fans in shambles. Audience reactions are similar to Coach Cam's. Yeah. I mean, there's two you, wait, wait, on wait, 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 C9 guys, now. Guys, 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 Corky has the forbidden. The package? He has the forbidden. No, 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 no. He'll see when the items come up again. <laughs> it's a rapid fire, isn't it? There's no way. Ain't no way. I mean, is he going to do it? Is he surely he's building full AP. Full AP Corky. Jeez. He has a GA third. Oh. The crocodile that was running the game is no longer doing so. He's got the silver wings over his nameplate. I haven't actually wow. looked at this FBI build. FBI almost died there. What the fuck? 
Dude, I, I, quirky package makes no fucking sense to me. Like, sometimes you package somebody and it does nothing to them. Other times, it'll clip them and just burn them for their entire health bar. Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it does a billion when you step in the fire. I think, I think it always does a billion if you get clipped by it. Oh no, sometimes it, it doesn't. Hmm. I think it's... It'll kill your whole team if they don't recognize they're walking into it, is all it is. I mean, well, like, sometimes you, his package will, like, push you out of it, right? Well, so, you know, they changed it to, like, whenever it bumps you, you get afflicted by the fire. No matter what. How long? Like the... I, I don't want to say three seconds, but... I feel like it's like two and a half or some shit. What is this Corky build? Like he has one AP item, it's Ludens. He has three AD items. <laughs> Whether two of them are defensives, like... I'm just confused. I actually think if it was any ADC that was not Sivir, they would be winning. Double, would be winning. double condom Corky. Yeah. CC. Maximum protection. Double condom. <laughs> yep. Fucking double wrap that bitch. <laughs> He's unkillable. He's protected. <laughs> Don't call him daddy. Nobody else is close enough to make it mean anything. Berserker's already got the wave coming up down the top lane here. And that means that surely now we will win the game. Just complete. Oh, oh sad times. In a complete, like, random turn of events, like, I actually think Energy might win this game, even though they probably blew, like, they probably bled, like, 10k gold swing in the last 10 minutes, but, uh, they got this. They got this. Like, the weird thing is, is I don't even think Sivir scales that well. Especially compared to, like, Zaya. No. Yeah. Every single one of Zaya's auto attacks has, like, a double AD ratio because of the, uh, putting down one feather. So he's just such a crazy champ. Champions with, like, no weaknesses. Kai'Sa and Zaya. Oh, dude, she's building it. Medius will be happy. Rapid Fibro. What? Oh, he got it! Holy shit! He's done it. He has no Lord Doms, which does kind of make sense in a game where they have to enemy team built through armor items, so... Okay. I think specifically this is going to let him go face-to-face -face with Azir and win. Oh my god, Fudge is kind of already out of the fight, and he... Oh, Ignar little stood on top of him with the charm. Damn, that was it's nice not a bad time one. to die. Like honestly, I think C9 should just wait for wait for Fudge's TP now. The enemy team blew two, th three ults. I don't know if they're actually calculating this, but they're actually at an advantage for uh, Baron now. If um, if they just wait. So unless that kill actually gets them something, which I don't think Whoa. it will. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my god, what the fuck am I watching? You can just do that? No. I I don't think that was good. Nautilus flash ulted, and Corky's, Corky can TP back. I mean, Sivir got fucked to 1 HP and blew both sums. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Nautilus ulted is pretty big, though. If they don't kill off of it, now he, now Nautilus is useless in this fight. It's, it's kind of back to even. I, I think I think Nala's specialty may be more important than than AD carry sums, but we'll see. They know C9 is probably just gonna blast the Baron. Just gotta go quick. I think. Yeah. And they're still not gonna make it. It's gone. Yep. It's just yeah. C9, C9 has zero fear when it comes to Baron instead of oh, like. It's gonna be a fight anyways. Mm. Oh, ignore this W. Bye bye. Maybe oh blabber, blabber, Flash right ulting down, catches Daisy. Oh, blabber shit on Daisy. Where's the follow up? Wait, Daisy's oh, dead. No. Daisy's dead. One for one. <laughs> oh my God, what's happening? Okay, Nautilus is dead. Can FBI hit? Good stop Zerker, watch. No ult. Wait, no Zerker... they can't chase that. They can't chase that. Yeah, they can't chase. Can't chase. Okay. I do wonder if Eminus has too many condoms on right now, because, like, his damage is going to start <laughs> being irrelevant if he doesn't have, like, real damage items. Uh, I think, like... I guess he's just relying on package to kill everyone. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, no, Pelifaker! He's wait, like that? Wait! Oh, no. C9 wins that. C9 wins this. 2v3, they win this. 
I mean, this SGA, he just I goes first. I don't think first. FBI can even auto here. Wait. Oh, the Wait, Ivern he down the wall. range. He hit the wall. Ivern, Ivern Q actually saved that. Oh, Ivern my Q God. completely carried that. Mistimed Q? Mistimed. That's okay. That's okay. I think they get him wow. anyways. Dude, can they end? I think they can end. It should be uh, over. Yeah, it's it's over. Two 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 meatballs alive. Yeah, it's it, look, it looks it for looks sure. wonderful because eighty eighty C versus it's oh, so dude, far. Redemption is gonna heal so much. What the fuck? Is it gonna... Who's defending? Yeah, is this Siver on the damage. base, bro? Like the wave's gone. Turrets are gone. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Fudge is up in 10. Shiver does one end. thing, it's yeah. blast. They cannot end, they cannot end, they cannot end. What the f where's FBI's health? What? How did he die? Aggro. Yeah, turret aggro, yeah, turret aggro. No fucking way. Uh -oh. oh, yes. Oh, and now Dokla can flash out. Why is he tanking turret, man? He had to. Uh, what the FBI, fuck? FBI had the unfortunate, uh, unfortunate W on while attacking turret. That's a bit of a, a bit of a misplay, I would say. That's the only fucking way they don't do anything there. Like Blabber yeah. and Sven have to suicide. They're, yeah. they're literally sacking their lives, and they're like, "Wait, he fucking died? Oh, yeah, yeah." I mean, I think someone else on energy probably should have made an effort to tank turret there. Because like, if if FBI is not turning on his W, the, hitting the turret, it's pretty weird. <laughs> I, I, no way. I mean, he had it on from the minions, I guess. Well, like, they should just hit them right now. Wow. Not, get that girl. Wow. Nah. Wow. It's on, it, it's on energy for sure. It's on them. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I mean, that's a great... That's a good read of the situation. Basically, like like you said, C9, the two tanks have to suicide just to stop the game from being ended right there. So... If, if energy follows the script, like, they win that situation every single time. Yeah. They just get two free kills and wait for the next wave to end, or... or they walk back, get drag. Yeah, yeah. They... But but end up with c getting soul, and now it's like... It's a good-ass soul. This is like a, a GG soul. soul. If I was Corky here, I, I would actually just think about, like, oh my God. buying a different mythic. Like what? What is even the point in Ludens? I don't. I don't understand. Poke. Uh, yeah. I might actually go crazy now on Corky. What about Navori? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why? It, it's no, a work it's, in your it's all it, it, it gives it gives twenty percent damage to abilities, to spells. Yeah, I mean you don't get rockets back though. Yeah, you don't. Uh, the, the cooldown is actually useless, so probably not. Probably not. I I bet you would fucking. Hit like a truck. I. I'm a little bit concerned about Fudge having no tenacity. Right. I always. Berserker sold boots for PD. Yeah, because he needed 100% crit for max damage. So it makes sense. They nerfed Corky's ulti ratios on AP from 20 to 12, and big one 40 to 24. Mm. And then also the base damage. What what's the what's the game plan here for energy? Like, you can't go down mid. I guess you can slowly does, retake, but you take more damage every second that they're. Does anyone really have a game plan in these kind of games? I feel like it's just like a it's a long game shit. Show everyone's like, fuck it, let's just go mid. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to. Yeah. With Baron, like the oh, they're just hitting Baron. Oh, dude, they're hitting. It's it. gonna fucking die. They have oh package. my god, this package oh. is gonna be so thick. Maybe. It is, it maybe. Is. Nah, but it's. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, wow. He, the angle was. Oh, great, FBI's but I dead. Think that's enough. It's enough. Uh, it's Jover. Wait. It's, it's a bit Jover. Jover with a flash in. Oh. They have no damage. Oh, my God. Oh, he can't even kill him. He can't even kill him. Nah. Legit Jover. 3 0 C9. Wow. That's crazy how they misplayed the end, and it just. Yeah. I mean, they lost track of Corky. Whoever got that ward behind uh energy's line to allow for the tp to come in was huge yeah gg that was a fast wait no that was a slow 3 -0. there was a lot of slow games yeah it was a close 3-0 i mean it wasn't like a complete stomp c9 definitely seemed like a better team but Usually 3-0s kind of implied one team just got shit on the whole time. I'd say energy, like, 
pretty much should have won this game. Yeah. So should they just play another one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they they earned just play it. Play another one. They weren't in a heavily advantage situation, but they were in yeah, position to win. Yeah, they only had the opportunity where Sneaky saying, "Yeah, they end, they end. It's over." No, I mean before that. But too. no good advantage. Like oh, so, so... before they had the advantage, they didn't have the advantage. That's true. <laughs> no, That's I'm talking a good like way to the... look at it. Where they were like winning the game, but they were somehow down in gold. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. So the the way it works, right, is that energy plays the winner of TL and GG. Yeah. And then the yeah. winner of that goes to finals. So they could rematch in the finals mm -hmm. if they end up beating whoever wins tomorrow. I do feel like if energy had something other than Civ for this game, it probably would have went better for them because they looked good this game. Like all their their early game went really well. Got advantages mid top, but uh, someone set up a bit of a trust fund for Berserker, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just I, I don't know about it's like boring to talk about draft, but I don't know about first pick Ivern. Do they think C9 is going to pick Ivern? Because like you could just first pick Zaya and get Ivern later. And their answer to Zaya was pretty shits. It was Sivir. So. Dude, okay, D doesn't that make Very no weird. sense? Doesn't Palvox have a Banshee's on him right now? He does. H how does he get pushed by a package and damaged by a package through Banshee's? Oh, no, man. All I'm saying is packages. Shit's it feels fucking like bugged. the most inconsistent shit ever to me. It, it's that shit insane. is bugged. That should not do that. Oh, my God, bro. Wait, look, Palafox has a Banshee. So, yeah, wait, the package just completely ignored Banshee. It still pushed and damaged him and didn't yeah. break the Banshee. No interaction with Banshee at all. I think that you should pause and ask Grona break. <laughs> Maybe that's a new meta. Like, after a team fight is lost, you, like, pause, and then you say there was a bug, and then you start, like, frantically thinking about, like, man, what, what kind of bug could I be, like, <laughs> up here? I mean, you guys are saying he popped it with the E, but he still had Banshees on him after. Yeah, it, the package like, the didn't touch never it. never popped. He still has Banshees. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Two Gs, guys. Games, boys. Yep. I'll see you tomorrow. I will see you guys next time. Yeah, it's tomorrow. It and that's tomorrow. Could be tomorrow. It, it's tomorrow, dude. Like, making it sound weird. Okay.